So I wanted to end uh, on a different note. Um, I was curious to know what are the uh, outreach efforts that are happening within the collaboration? So those currently happening, uh, how do you use the VVV results, the VVV images, the, uh, the impact, and um, what are the things you have dreamed about doing with outreach? Uh, things uh, you wish VVV could do more, and this comes from the idea that it has two um, main reasons. Um, one is, well, this is our way to give back. It's uh, it's in recognition for uh, all the public access we have to the telescope time that allows all of that to happen. And at the same time, uh, this is the way you can also uh, increase the impact of your work into the community. And by being more visible, uh, you can you can have uh, yeah even bigger impact when you present scientific data to your peers. Um, I know that from the fact that when in in the news uh, back in Canada, when I see a VVV image, I'm very happy to show everybody that, that this is the image they chose to represent something that they want to talk about in in the scientific news. So. Um, uh, yeah, so I'd be curious to know what, what's happening, uh, what is missing, um, what kind of uh, return you think we've had so far, and um, if anyone has any opening remarks on that topic. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so, so something that, that is missing that is that we get us from time to time is that where are the highlights? What, what is the legacy? Mm -hmm. uh, not 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 news, but um, and and uh, I don't know. Most people don't know that there are more than a thousand clusters discovered with the uh, with the BBD by the Valparaíso and La Serena groups, for example, or or that the number of uh, YSOs have multiplied <laughs> by a lot. There's a revolution in in that. Or, yes. So, so if if we could uh, <clears throat> if we could uh, maybe converge in a, in a in a five or six points or legacy or highlights uh, because we had ten ten original you know, goals yes uh, mm -hmm. and we did a lot of work with almost two hundred papers but um, some summary and that is also very useful if we have to write a proposal yes. for for uh, 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 to, to to extend the the survey in the north or to with you so, so um, I don't know well, some comment a practical solution to that would be to use the email explorer to contact the collaboration and ask people to submit a list of what they consider being the biggest contribution VV had on their field before a certain deadline and use that as a starting point to have that list. It should be easy for any one of us to say, well, for us, the difference was blah, 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 and give a little blurb about, about it. Uh, and it goes to different fields. I mean, uh, fields that were not even expected at first. So um, that's, it can be, um, it's a little bit complicated because we don't want to get people upset. You know, oh, mm -hmm. you didn't mention my specific. <laughs> but but if we can all converge and saying, look, we did it. The young stellar object. It was a revolution. Yeah. That is before we <coughs> Yeah. And and, and to look at it's pretty as well. It helps. You know, it's PR, right? So it doesn't right. have to be sure. about the complicated science. It just Absolutely. has to be easy to understand and look right. nice, right? So, so it's. Yeah. Yeah. And then you know five or ten and most yes. that would be very useful if we can converge on that because i mean when i was thinking about uh, connecting uh, inputs from people it's hopefully it's with the understanding that this is the raw data first mm -hmm. from which we could extract uh, group group comments and, and, and form subgroups to work on one key figure and then one key paragraph for each of the main main top, I mean the bulge, uh, the disc, uh, mm. the the dynamic. Uh, I mean, there, there's so many the micro lensing, and there's so much happening. Yeah, we could feel uh, easier. Uh, 
a web, a, one of the web pages of the vvvsurvey.org. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the slides I showed in, in the introduction, uh, from the, what I showed to the public service panel, I mean, it was a kind of mixture of my own impressions, so it was a bit biased towards the book motions, but also I just searched ADS for the most highly cited papers that uh, were in the list, which obviously is not a, necessarily the best sites, but it's mm -hmm. at least what the community has noticed, you know, yeah, yeah, in yeah. some sense. So yeah. that's, that's one way of, one way to start, but it's, you know, It's chewing. a good start. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Good so you would select people based on and productivity. Uh, well, it's the and individual impact. papers, yeah, uh, that just let it hit there, you know, be so. noticed and have 50 or 100 citations, and there's quite a few actually, so, um, and some of them from outside the team, actually, there's Chris Wegg's work, of course, which, um, yeah, we know, we know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> our favorite person. <laughs> yeah. You know, we a question that uh, perhaps we could, could, could make is, what kind of impact would we like to would we like to, to produce in the community and in which extension uh, extension well, for example I, I give an extension uh, an example of La Serena uh, the group produces a catalog with a bunch of uh, sites but uh, the funny thing behind this is uh, in some moment I teach a uh, galactic structure for undergrads and then one of the papers that uh, in some moment they were uh, they had to, to read was the one in which we described the survey and the results. And they are oh look La Serena mm -hmm. and they connected the VVV with the name name of the clusters and the, the survey yes. and the university. Yes. And then they told to the parents their parents and, and then it suddenly. We become famous, <laughs> so they are happy to know that yes. La Serena in some, just because La, the university and the town of people there felt like part of this yes. something that. So, um, it's, it. of course, this is very localized in a sense, yes. but it produces an impact. Yes. Giving a sense of ownership uh, and uh, yes. partners. So, uh, and it can be done at different different levels. Uh, so far, we've been staying pretty academic so far in the discussion, but we, we visit uh, classrooms and uh, we give public talks, uh, night, night talks. Uh, if you're in the trend of having uh, astronomy on tap venues, then those are a completely different audience. This, these are uh, presentations given in, in bars and cafes and lays. So when people are not expected to be told anything about science, but then they, they realize they're drinking a beer and enjoying very fun facts about the universe. Um, there's the VVV book. Uh, mm -hmm. There are things like that that are different, different various ways to reach out to different audience and, and to uh, spread very widely um, and, and I agree with what you said. I mean, giving this sense of ownership. Uh, I know back home when, when they say, oh, someone from Valleyfield has done something, they, they freak out. I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> who mentions Valleyfield anywhere in the news? Um, 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 yeah, that's my hometown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I, I ask it because I don't know if this is really valuable for, for what we are looking at uh, regarding the, um, the this, uh, this discussion, but uh, it will be easy to expand this in the yeah. uh, local uh, community. For example, going to schools, talking about stars and how the universe looks like work, and then present the, these results at the Southern up here, oh, this is La Serena 99, and then, oh, La Serena. And, and then you rea realize that, okay, we're part of something in yeah. the universe. But you could go to um, give a presentation in the planetarium and you present the whole survey and people are flabbergasted by all that you're telling them and, and they realize, oh, and that person is part of that big effort and they feel honored that someone doing so much great things have made the effort to come in and reach out to them. So this sense of ownership can come in so many different ways. So I, I'd, I'd just do a quick survey. Who has... Um, Mention VVV or use any VVV product in any public venue so far. Well, yeah. So about oh wow, so 
in the first half second after I asked the question, there were a small number by the time you all raise your hand, it's almost everybody. Um, so um, was it mostly the key part of what you presented or was it part of what you presented? How did it look like? Do you think that there's enough that you could go into a, a classroom and talk solely about VVV or, or, or a public talk or anything? I think it depends at the end because people don't know almost anything about astronomy. So if we start from the very beginning, they can understand something. Absolutely. But if you start from BBV, they don't understand anything. Oh, they don't understand why it's near infrared, for example. No, or why no. So at least what I do that I have been working a lot in outreach is to start from the very basic stuff. And at the end, if they follow you at some point, you can explain, for example, that BBV is infrared and why it's important and it's different from, like from the others but i think it's quite difficult to go deeper oh yeah this survey yeah yeah it's, it's much the same if you're representing um what you're doing to the computer science department which i did and you, know, you have to <laughs> uh, you have to make it very simple you start yeah. with the sun and sunspots and uh, keeping binary stars and then you know it makes sense uh, but if, if you have a talk from someone that works at the space telescope institute for instance they will not be ashamed to use only Hubble products <laughs> to yeah, offer. And then, uh, so in, in that sense, uh, we can be the main, the main vehicle for, mm -hmm. for what you want to, to present. And I think there's, there's plenty uh, we could use. I mean, the, the, the pictures are stunning. Mm -hmm. and, and there's a wide variety of stuff. Um, well, the movie as well, the Joyce made of the mm -hmm. microlensing. I mean, that, that's, you that's know, that, that's a really good cool. thing. You could make that available for us to show. I'm serious. Right. It's the kind of thing we'd like to emphasize. I mean, it's, uh, you know, if, well, if you don't yeah. mind, Gabriel, of course, yeah, it's of your course. thing. No, I mean, it's your, because it's just, it's a good poster. Yeah, yeah. I shows, mean, so, I would I mean, say it's a press release. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so yeah. how does it work with ESOL and press release? Mm -hmm. Or do we have any freedom to have our own press releases? We tried last year and they said no for this one. But definitely you should you should push this we should try again mm. yeah we can try about, again. about the movies i yeah. would be delighted to, to have ideas and absolutely if oh. you have your own idea and you want to make a movie it's not a straightforward to make any but the, we can manage to to do it like we did with, with that Briella or with the javier mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and actually, I, I even that I, I enjoy doing them. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going about this. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even in uh, in the scientific conferences, the movie is the the thing that yeah. people like mm -hmm. oh, like the most thing. because actually you can see some science yeah. even from the movie so it's especially on the grad students they would yeah they would yeah, yeah that's right. listen back to you <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's wake right. up when you finish <laughs> the movie i know that we're moving forward to a general public who is in charge of the facebook space good question the management of the facebook on space it's everybody there for nobody it's a it's a between uh, Roberto, Joyce, and then Magis. Okay. It, would it be right. possible to, for example, the first idea to gather highlights of UV to to deliver them through the Facebook web page? There, there are two challenges, I think. Um, when when so, Facebook is one audience, and with time it went from fifty percent of the people to now twenty. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, now, if you want to reach more, it has to be also Instagram and Twitter. And there are a lot of work. And then you go from 20% to 30%. Yeah. Just, no, but, but you know, we don't have an influencer here. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no, I'm not an Okay, I'm not an <laughs> No, but I always share in, in Instagram, uh, like, general knowledge about astronomy in a very easy way. So mm -hmm. yeah. I was telling Joyce that actually now Insta Instagram is, is stronger than Facebook. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I mean, in Instagram, it's easier. You have a story of 24 hours that people just see like very easily. 
So I can do something with BBV. I, I, I think no, we need the fee. That's okay. the big question. Because it takes us two, three years to pull out a result. We cannot wait that <laughs> really for something to go on Instagram, definitely not. Um, yeah. So we need also to yeah, feed yeah. Those, those, mm. those things. You know, yesterday when it was explanatory, I don't know if you guys saw the, the different uh, um, programs. There are three to four distinct uh, programs that you can buy. And, and I was wondering, perhaps you could use, because this uh, micro lensing mm. material is very compelling, and perhaps you could produce a small presentation and offer to planetarium. Oh, like a planetarium show or, or just yeah. a, a short DVD of uh, oh, no. VVV? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that's something because, because well, as, <laughs> as choice. <laughs> you, you can talk about a bit about the theory. It's, it's, it's a compelling subject. And then explain a bit how things happen, how it works, or how we believe it. And then uh, organize the show. Mm -hmm. And then with this, we put out. We will be. Planetary and show is a different type of project. It's yeah. uh, it's expensive and it requires expertise, but um, that will produce an impact. If we have a grant, it, it's not. It's not. We've, we've got actually got someone at Hertfordshire who's been hired on a particular kind of funding. Um, one of these Newton Fellowship funding uh, that we got it's related to connecting Britain and Thailand, actually. Uh, something Mark, Mark Thompson's doing, and he managed to get the money to hire a person um, to basically make media stuff, um, public, you know, public outreach stuff, largely from star formation surveys, uh, I believe. Um, but we have a few people who, who know how to use our planetarium software, and it's relatively straightforward to take. I mean, you can just take large, flat images and project them on a sphere. They don't usually look too bad. Uh, we do also have software to convert them. Uh, Jim Geach is a colleague of mine who's very IT savvy and um, he knows how to change the projection. Yeah. So if you, if you have a few people who know how to do this and we actually have a person who can, who probably wouldn't mind doing a bit more because she's sort of doing that for, as her main job anyway, uh, it, it, it's not a positive. Yeah. Is that, uh, also to, again to mention ESO again, is that something that would interest ESO to promote one of their major effort? <laughs> into a planetary show because that's i mean if we're talking planetary i'm sure it's a bigger scale i think mm -hmm. of the project yeah, it's, it's we could produce a two minutes five minutes uh, clips, clips mm -hmm. and give to the media agents that feed the the hospitals and waiting rooms and, mm. and we can give it that's an excellent that is neat it's very nice yeah. nice idea Excellent. It's nice the way the black holes, if you kind of, uh, the brightness of the flash is proportional to the likely mass or, you know, something mm. like just the duration. Yeah. It's like the, the, the darker and blacker the mass, the brighter the light. It's kind mm. of cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what we That's fun. Um, yeah, the, the, I had a question about press releases. Does ESO have um, proprietary ownership on, on, on the press Problems, releases? Or? Yeah. Or could your universities just decide to publish it? Because you said ESO rejected the uh, macro lensing uh, video, but could uh, Andre Bello? Yeah. Have one uh, and just yeah. one. Too bad for him. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's no problem. I suspect that if you, if you could have a bunch of these small videos like the yeah. one that Joyce suggests. It would not be hard to to contact people in Chile and spread this around a bunch of schools and institutions. Definitely, that that could be very powerful in terms of uh, outreach. Um, that is a very neat project. <laughs> yeah. yeah, certainly in La Serena and the, the, the government, the regional government. We have some access to them uh, nowadays. We have uh, representatives there that are in touch with our our staff in, in the university. Yeah. I don't know if it is useful for. And uh, 
scale, country scale perhaps for, for, for guys that are in Santiago. <laughs> be easier. Yeah. Okay. Um, another question I have for you. Um, sometimes we, we, we start from BBV, but we use other observatories to follow up or enrich what we, what we found. Uh, do you often contact the observatory back to uh, communicate your results and make sure that uh, they, I mean, offer them to use that for their own press releases or, or anything you want to feature? Because that's a practice that is very common here, but we don't often find enough PIs for, for filming that many. Um, but it's a good practice. I mean, uh, observatories are very happy to hear back from their PIs. And, and if they are sent something useful, they can put back into a form of a press release or something for them to promote their observatories. But then in the same way you, prom you promote what you've been doing, and you can always slice in a VVV part of it. That's a, another venue for insinuating the idea that VVV is doing any stuff. Um, I don't think that in Chile we have this. But uh, for example, when I use Brazilian time, uh, the observatory used to contact me um, or, or somebody on our group to asking for uh, if you publish a paper or if you have a result that you could use in a press release for the, for our uh, national attack. At least the Brazilian uh, OFC used it to do this. Uh, I don't know in Chile because the ten the ten percent of our or 10% time is administered by uh, Universal Chile yeah. through the same pack. And then I don't believe that they're concerned about this. I'm, I don't know if this is a general rule. Uh, okay. Yeah, because there in Brazil, I, I can't can mention the Brazilian case because in Brazil, there are a lot of discussion about the, the money that they are putting this not it's a bunch of money that we put in uh, the tele in telescopes and out of the country. Yeah. And this is a big issue for, for taxpayers. Mm -hmm. This is becoming harder and harder to justify the the money that we you know, they expend on on projects like Gemini or, or SOAR. And they 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 have to, they must to 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 gather this information in order to to use internally to justify the uh, the amount of resources that they spare. There's one one channel that we in this corner could probably explore and maybe <coughs> you in each of your corner could explore uh, our our center astronomy center has a web page mm -hmm. uh, the web page that we manage and we normally uh, could from time to time write a short first release of course it's not going to be as big spread as uh, an ISO press release but <coughs> we could also do it, and um, uh, probably if, in each of your center you could have a similar uh, web page. In your case, do you know how uh, successful are your first releases? How many journalists are are contacting you back? About uh, well, there there are two two different channels. One from is from the university. Uh, probably the the university releases. Um, could be slightly more successful than our own press releases. Uh, um, but because in Antofagasta, uh, there are basically one newspaper and there's not a lot of uh, news circulation. Um, I don't have the number, but I will bet it's, it's very, very low. Yeah. Okay. But it's still better than this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure of the mechanics of how Alpha Galileo works. Does anyone know? 
because normally when we send a press release, uh, if you have a scientific result that you think is worth a you know, fairly high profile release, we send it um, to usually to the journalists at the Royal Astronomical Society or to our main funding council. And the one thing they always do is send it to Alpha Galileo, which is an international science news service mm -hmm. that all of the journalists who are all science journalists subscribe to. So it goes to everyone in the world. And, you know, sometimes I, you know, some of my early work, I did a press release and it might be not much interest in the UK, but I get a phone call from Radio New Zealand, for example, and so I do an interview with them. So it's very international. But I don't know, I mean, because I've never done it directly myself, but I don't know if we can just send them smaller things or if it's only when you have a big result. Um, I can look into it, but yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah, they have a website, I have to read it, but yeah, yeah it's yeah. just that's what professional journalists use. Um, you want to get them. It's a shame that, uh, unfortunately, Jura is not here <laughs> because I know that she does her group a very strong uh, uh, work on this subject in Gopalais. Actually, they, they, they have a, a, I believe, a, a complete, a very, very extended uh, program of vultures. Okay, well, we can always bring that question back again next year. Um, because, um, yeah, after working here, I realized the importance of that extra effort that we all want to do, but sometimes when we don't have time, that's the one that goes on the side and we don't get back to. But um, I can, if I don't want to discuss too much, but I think part of the reason why we have such an opposition on the mountain right now is for at least a partial failure to give that sense of ownership to some of the people living on this island. And since astronomy depends so much on this island, it's quite unfortunate that this is happening. Um, so, yeah, after, especially after all I've heard this week, uh, UV has so much to offer. Uh, we can exploit that and we'll get even 10 times more in return, I'm sure. Um, just so don't forget to mention about next year. Oh yeah, I will not forget, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, so, yeah, thanks for participating to that uh, topic about outreach because I know it was never brought up before and uh, we can come back to it periodically and, uh, but we have a list of things uh, that we can try. We can try to see if that's doable, we can try to see if we want to do it, if we have the effort, but I think the, the, the new idea here would be those short videos. Uh, they could be useful to feed uh, social media, they could be useful to feed uh, unexpected venues. I mean, you mentioned uh, waiting rooms, <laughs> mm -hmm. educating people against their will. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and yeah, yeah. But are, are there any ideas about short videos? Uh, How would we do that? How would we? Do we, no, we, we feed, feed what, uh, yeah, what, what to do. What? Well, one, one possibility is some of the nice pictures you have in the book. If you can stand, through, still drift across, it makes it a, a journey. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so like, uh, Panning, yeah. you yeah. can do that with PowerPoint. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's not so, hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so we just pick a few images and do that. Yeah, yeah. that's not bad. Do we, do, 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 we have, do we have exoplanet detections too that we're serving on? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Try it. Mm. <laughs> it's a hot team. Yes. Hot yeah. Time. Well, it's, it's something I want to try and do with the uh, with the proper motion. So I don't know if it's a, uh, you're trying with the transits. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. Have a student working on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, we have we haven't started yet, but I I wrote it into a grant because I did the numbers and we we can take a sample of about 150 nearby late M and L dwarfs and look for astrometric orbit motion. No, no one has done that. So it's um, nice. new niche, uh, <laughs> hopefully by fundable. She also made a short video of, uh, to illustrate how your velocity starts, hypervelocity starts uh, shooting out of the galactic center. Yes, yes. And that, that's, uh, another, another thing but if that, there are other ideas. Uh, another thing that always works, uh, that during time is we use it to send us a calendar. With nice pictures, I, I am sure that nowadays it's a very would, small effort. We would be able to generate a couple of yeah. uh, a dozen of uh, pretty images that could be uh, inserted into calendars mm -hmm. and distributed to. I don't know if you have money to, to do this, but uh, 
that will be because this is spread out like bread. True. Not bread. <laughs> um, if it's public money, we can give them for free, and it's not that expensive. It's, if it's private money, it could be sold. And but um, yeah, I mean, I, I I just explored two weeks ago about doing calendars for another purpose, and it's like a couple of dollars per, per calendar for producing. Actually, one of the main outreach efforts of CSD is that they have that yeah. beautiful calendars. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Most of the most of the effort has been in the the quality, quality yeah. of the image quality. processing mm -hmm. and quality of the printing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so those are a little more expensive and more extensive. Yeah. Uh, we can go there. I mean, definitely have you know, something that would make it, but then it would be hard to feed 10 years of those. Yeah. <laughs> I, should, I, I should dig out some of the, um, there's a few examples of the erupted variables which are in quite pre quite pretty because they're in infrared dark clouds so you see a, like a black area you know, in a bright nebula you have a completely black area and then suddenly something goes off some of them look very good in white some in BBB, but it's like yeah it's, it could be a nice part of this kind mm -hmm. of drifting movie and, yeah. Right. Yeah, we could we could for 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 short term we could have a bucket uh in the cloud or something for people to dump their SVG image and we could pick 12 out of that and see if we, if we move forward for a calendar because that, that is and also that's a nice card visit when you go visit a politician or someone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah now which I have a small suggestion. One thing that uh, we have to put some effort on is how the science and technology that we develop for astronomy is helping other fields and and how the man for how the exercise in physics, math, and computer science, all those coming into astronomy is going and contributing to the rest of the world. Because many of the the common public may often a question is why would we do astronomy like good pictures or they don't easily digest even if you show some nice results. So if you can show something that we then tell them okay it's, it really has got much more implication than even knowing about a habitable planet or anything that would be a lot of interest to the public can i add something i think at the end it's quite easy to do this because astronomy is a very interesting topic for everyone and now it's getting even more important with like the, the last press release of gravitational waves or new horizons. So I think it's, I mean, we are all busy, but if we put a little bit of effort, we can do something very important, you know, for VDV, I think it's possible. <laughs>